Using DeliverPoint, you can check for items or sites, or even lists or libraries that have broken permission inheritance, and also manage that inheritance as well. Let's start off looking at a document library. If we navigate into the document library, you'll notice that within these three folders, we have an icon over on the right hand side, and that's indicating to me that the top folder, the commission reports folder, has broken permission inheritance. What we can also do is use the deliver point ribbon at the very top of a list or a library and on that ribbon is a unique items button that we can select and that will go through the document library and look for any items that may have broken permission inheritance. So notice that not only was there that folder but there is also items that are within the folders as well. In this case we've got Brett's commission report that contained the broken permission inheritance. That report can also be exported to an Excel spreadsheet. So in order to create this icon, all we need to do is navigate to the document library ribbon and in there we can create a new column. And there's the deliver point inheritance field type that we're going to add and we can basically give that a name such as inherit or inheritance or something to that effect and click on to OK. That will generate the column for you and immediately it will start to read the property as to whether that item has broken permission inheritance or unique permissions. Without such a tool, in order to find out on each item or each folder inside a document library which could equate to thousands, you would need to click onto the tilde, click onto it again, choose shared with and then click advanced in order to get to this yellow banner that specifies whether the permissions are inherited or not. That can take a considerable amount of time if you've got tens of thousands of documents stored in different document libraries across your SharePoint farm. What we can also do from the main deliver point page is navigate through our server farm into each web application and also into each site collection. And using the sales site collection here, notice I can look at the different SharePoint sites and see whether those permissions are inherited or not as well. So anything that has a dimmed icon like the APAC region team site, uh, the icon is slightly dimmed and that tells me visually that that site is actually inheriting its permissions. If we select the site, we can see at the bottom here that in the information pane that it is inherited and where those permissions are managed as well with a hyperlink up to the sales team site. The North Pole region has unique permissions again we can tell that by the icon being in clear color as well as the sales site has unique permissions again being the top level site that would be obvious anyway. The icons some of them also have a strike through and that tells me that the site itself contains items that have broken permission inheritance and that could be a list or a library, a folder or even a document. More importantly if it doesn't contain the strike through then we know we don't have to drill any further to know what permissions are set with inside that site. Everything within inside the APAC site for example is inheriting permissions from the site itself. Now you can also manage the permission inheritance from here as well. We can simply select a site or multiple sites and from the permission inheritance button we can either break permissions or inherit permissions. So we'll set these two to inherit and as we refresh this page and navigate back to the same site collection we can see that both of those sites are now inheriting their permissions from the sales site from the uh, parent. Okay, so that's how we can manage permission inheritance and also report on permission inheritance using DeliverPoint.